Today I'm gonna show you how to use SageMaker for processing job specifically this API. So usually uh, I assume that I already have a processing job, for example, transform data running in my local, but now I want to do it in SageMaker. So how can I do that? So let me jam in the code and, and show it. So I assume that this is my, um, uh, I already have and process data. So what it does, it just uh, load and see the house pricing. Uh, it split into chain test validation using scikit-learn chain test split. So that is, now I can, uh, I can run it locally. Okay, after I run it locally, what I got is this uh, process data, chain data, uh, test data, validation data, right? So that's just, let's see the code a bit. So I got input data, uh, and then I load the data, pandas reset v, and then I use scikit learn to split into chain test validation and I save the data. Uh, the point is now how can I use SageMaker to do this processing job? How can I do it? Um, how many options? So there are three options I can show you now. I call it processor.py. So now I'm gonna use Say maker SDK, I write some code and when I run it, it will call say makers to do the processing job for me. So my local machine becomes free. Okay, so that that the point. So let me copy some code. I already prepared it. We need to import something and Let me check. So let me. Okay. So first we're gonna import thing and then <coughs> the first one is uh, we load some parameters and then we're gonna upload data and code to S3 and then we're gonna call uh, three different processors. The first one is a base processors. The second one is script processors and the third one is sklearn processors. So all of those one is a SageMaker service. This one also SageMaker service. SageMaker service. It means it run in SageMaker but we we interact by three different ways. Basically, you provide your code. You specify where is the data in S3, and it run, and it save the output data in S3. So that all. Now, let me copy some. Uh, those one I have to copy because it's pretty long. So we loading some. Uh, We are loading some parameter. For example, I'm loading um, the row because the, this code uh, it need a row. The row gonna pass to SageMaker, and SageMaker have that row, and then SageMaker can run uh, the processing job first. So that is a row. I will explain more detail in in different uh, video about this row, but it needs pass row action in it. Okay, and in here we also specify, I assume I have the data. This is my data, house pricing locally. So I need to upload it. And where I upload it to, I upload to uh, S3, bucket name, is it like, and then processing demo, housing price. So this is where I upload my data to. And then I also upload my code. I also upload the process data.py 
to F3. That's it. And some path uh, after same microprocessing, it will save output here. And this is the container path, the same maker container path. Now I upload. I have some code to upload. Okay, so this code gonna upload the data. Uh, it gonna upload the the code, our code process data to S3. Uh, okay, so now I can run here and and let's see what happened. Okay, in here we already can run it. And let me run it. Okay, and we go to the console and we go to um, F3 bucket. So this bucket, okay. Uh, refresh it and we're gonna see this photo processing demo let me zoom in okay okay so I have upload my data housing house pricing and upload my code so let's come back and continue So this is a mid and I'm gonna write it a bit because it is the most important path. So uh, let me write some code. So the first one is we're gonna use a base. So I call it dev test uh, base processor. Okay. So let me make a processor it equal to uh, I need to import yeah I already have above okay okay and I need to specify some parameters the row the row so so this can access it S3 right Access data from S3, access code from S3, download into the container and run it. So it needs this row environment row. It also needs an image URL. It is a container. So AWS already prepare the container. It different. Say for example, scikit-learn, TensorFlow, MXNet container, because my my processing code needs scikit-learn. So later, later on, I show I will retrieve that SK scikit learn container. Great one, okay. And then um, what else? Instant count. I one instant for demo. Instant type. Uh, ML dot M four dot large. I think okay. And then the entry point. So similar to Docker container, this is the command. I run Python, right? Python. And then where is my code? So where where is my code right here? It is in uh, container base path, and then input, and then dot py, and then. Let me pass my environment variable. So basically, what it does, it's gonna run Python, and then run the code. This is a code. Uh, so how how the code? The so first um, we're gonna configure that. Say maker gonna download the processing data from F3, download into this container and run it. So this this is let me check this processor base, okay. And now we need to uh, let me check. Okay, and then we call processor.run and then we give the job name equal to F and then
let me give the time let me okay what else uh, after the job we need input and then output okay so let me copy this for I think there's some typo error here okay looks better so the important now is the input uh, first we processing the processing input so what is the sort right the sort is the data from S3 right data from S3 so it's a data input path and then the destination destination is the path inside the container okay and it is I save the data the housing price I it, I save into the container at this path uh, okay and I have another another one for the code this is the code in S3 I download into the container and I save it here okay and the output so after the container run process data it upload uploads it upload the output to S3 so we're gonna call it a sort the sort is in is from the container where 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 is the process data in output train and where we upload to we upload to S3 uh, data output path and then it is for train and uh, optional we give the output name it is here. and similar we're gonna config the let me copy we're gonna config output for train and test so let me show you so this is the process data after I split the data I'm gonna save it where I'm gonna save it right so I'm gonna save it in the process chain here, test here in here. I save it here. Let's see this folder. So I save it in in op ML processing the base and then output chain. I save it in the container and then in here container base path and then it upload the process data from the container to S3. So that all it it does. So we finished uh, one test base processor but we can use another one let me copy so it's faster so the second option is we don't use the base processor but we use a script processor this uh, object and different from from the first one instead of entry point now we use a command it is similar in the concept in docker file use a command and we can pass environment right and then we we pass the code here we don't need to specify op ml machine learning we pass the code here and the rest is the same thing where is the data and how we up uh, upload the output to s3 and that's it and now another option is let me copy another option is using SK learn processor it is a framework specific and then we, we, we specify the environment and we specify the code and that's it input output same 
The difference is we specify environment and code, no commands, no entry point, and now we run it. So now I'm gonna run three processors, you know, in parallel. I, I launch three jobs. Forgot the rechip image function. Let me copy the function. Yeah. So this function gonna gonna get the container image for SK learn. I need this for the first base processor. And then I can. Uh, I'm gonna use the thread. And then I submit three function. Okay, now we can reconfirm it. So the uh, the same the same job, but I use three different processors: the base processors, the script processor, the SK learn processors. Yeah. So now it launched one, two, three. Uh, let's go in the same maker and see. It. So here is the processing job. And it large, uh, one job, two, three job. Okay, so it's launching three different jobs, and it takes a um, few minutes to initialize the containers, and then it run the code, and then it save the outputs to my S three bucket. Yeah, you see, it it will take about six minutes because for the initialize the container not actually for the running the code running my small code is pretty fast so that's it i share the code in github